I don't know about you, but I am exhausted. Yeah, like it's really hard to throw a Pokeball. Well, after a couple of hundred or so. I hope this thing doesn't have a limited number of uses. I'm going to use the ladies' room, and then I'm off to bed. Okay, sounds good. Oh, yeah, it's sleep time. What's the big idea? Just what do you think you're doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm going to sleep. Well, yeah, but I always sleep in bed and you sleep on the floor. Not this time. I'm too tired my back hurts. Then just what am I supposed to do? You can't possibly be suggesting that I sleep on the floor. What kind of a man makes a lady sleep on the floor? Here, there's plenty of room for you. Are you mad? I'm not sleeping in the same bed with you! Do what you want, but I'm not moving. One way or another, you are sleeping on this floor tonight. I've got a surprise for you. We're leaving the island tomorrow. And... you'll... get to see your trainer again. <coughs> That's right. Whatever happens tomorrow... I want you to make sure your trainer gets what she came for. Hey, TJ, wake up. Ooh, Officer Jenny? So, what can I do you for? First things first, I've got a bone to pick with you. Well, that officially falls under the take a number category. My sister's been very upset since you left. She's been blaming herself for sending you into the trap. You mean Jenny 20? I told her not to worry about it. Jenny 20? I don't get it. Jenny number 20. She was my liaison with the police when I was working undercover in Team Rocket. I knew there were a bunch of identical Officer Jennies, but I didn't know they were actually given numbers. Well, you see, they always said the Jennies were identical sisters, but in reality they were a secret cloning experiment. Don't go spreading that around too much. What difference does it make? Everyone knows now anyway. That makes sense, I guess. I always thought a bunch of identical sisters with the same name was Taurus crap. Never mind that. What are you going to do about my sister? What do you want me to do? Take her on a pity date? Just talk to her! Fine, I'll call her. Now, was there a real reason you came by? Yes, Professor Fennel would like to see you in the cafeteria right away. Alright, we're on our way. Check this out. Three at once. Show off. Good morning, TJ. Guard of War. Morning. I'm going to get some food. What a cute Growlithe! When did you get him? I traded my Herdier for him yesterday. I needed a fire type anyway. Melanie, doesn't it bother you trainers that you trade around your Pokemon like trinkets? Not really. That's just part of the whole trainer thing. Herdier and I weren't really getting along anyway. I know you always eat a poffin for breakfast, so I got you a green one. You mean the one that's supposed to boost my intelligence? Just what are you trying to say? Jerk. You say something like that about every poffin I get you. By the way, what's up with Fennel? Didn't she get enough sleep last night? <laughs> Apparently she pulled an all-nighter. That's great. She wakes us up to come meet her and now she's asleep. Hey, Fennel! Wake up! Oh, sorry about that. Mm. I stayed up all night studying those notes by Professor Crane on how to purify the Shadow Pokemon. 
Well, it's about time. You know I almost died trying to get those notes. Wait, what? That's not what TJ told me. Gardevoir? There's no need to go telling her stuff like that. <sighs> Whatever. So spill it already! I want to get purified! Not so fast, Gardevoir. The purification process of the Shadow Pokemon takes time. To open the door to your heart, you must have positive interactions with humans and other Pokemon over time. You've got to be joking. Isn't that how it's supposed to work for... anybody? So, all I have to do is be nice to her, huh? Well, she's not gonna make that easy. I don't feel myself getting purified from that comment. Watch out, Fennel. I think you need to get some shut-eye. Yes, you are right. I doubt anything interesting will happen today, so I might as well. I'm sorry, Rosa Raid. I'm a bit zoned out at the moment, and I didn't even see you. Hey, aren't you that Rosa Raid from the other day? Uh, huh? She said she wanted to thank you for saving her baby. Oh, and that Bianca has been selling Pokemon to Team Galactic. Oh, that's not good. Come on. We have to talk to Bianca right away. Yeah, we have to tell her to stop that. Actually, we have to tell her to keep doing it. Why? Aren't they the bad guys? TJ knows how these criminals work. Come on, Growlithe! Hey, Sharon. I bet you didn't think I'd ever have my own office. No, Bianca. I can honestly say that never crossed my mind. TJ. Oh, TJ. What are you doing here? I thought you were taking the day off. Bianca, we need to talk about Team Galactic. What about Team Galactic? Bianca has been double dealing, selling Pokemon to Team Galactic. Is this true, Bianca? I won't lie to you. Sharon, it's true. I... I had no choice. They had the money we needed. Without them, we wouldn't have lasted this long. Yeah, I really don't care why you did it. I just want to make sure that for now, you keep doing it. But I've already closed business with them. With your help, we can catch all the newborn Pokemon. I really wish you hadn't done that. Now Team Galactic will- Um, is that normal? Emergency red lights. That means the main generator is off and the backup power is on. How long will shields hold emergency power? Uh, an hour, I think. Do you think this is the work of Team Galactic? Possibly. Only one way to find out. You know, I just realized I'm not sure where the generator is. You moron! We're running, and you don't know where? Just keep going. It's straight ahead. TJ, excellent timing. We've got problems. Yeah, I know. Power's out. Well, that and someone has sabotaged the Western Gate. We can't close it until the generators turn back on. The Western Gate? Isn't that the one that leads to the Dark Pokemon Preserve? Great! That's all we need! More dark Pokémon! Look, what is that? Where is that truck going? We don't have any shipments scheduled for today. It makes sense that Team Galactic would try to steal the Pokémon first. Alright, here's what I think we should do. Sharon, you've got the strongest Pokémon team, so you should head to the Western Gate and keep the dark Pokémon out. I was going to suggest that anyway. Melanie, I want you to follow that truck and see what it's up to. Got it. Gardevoir and I will head to the shield generator. Remember, we've got less than an hour before the shield fails. Uh, Jenny, you guys have to have some protocol for this situation. Now's the time to use it. Wait, TJ. 
Let me come with you. Why? Do you have strong Pokemon with you? No, but if what you said is true and this is all my fault, then I have to do something. Well, I think it's a bad idea, but we don't have time to discuss it, so let's go. There's the gate. Good, it's still intact. It looks like the battle started already. Huh, and I was just lecturing TJ about fighting dark Pokemon alone. M4, Gilgalesh, let's go! Strange. Zangus and Seviper never work together. What does it mean? TJ, I'd better get that generator running soon, otherwise we'll all look like this. My plan was brilliant! Just sneak in and cause a distraction, then take all the Pokemon when no one was looking. It's certainly much better than the invasion plan that Jupiter suggested. She thinks she's so much smarter than me because she's better looking. Hurry up with those Pokemon. If you're not finished when the shield drops, I'm leaving you here. It is Team Galactic. I can't let them take those Pokemon. Who the hell are you? My name's Melanie, and I'm not letting you take those Pokemon. Please, I'm a galactic commander, you harlot. What makes you think you can stop me? Well, I'll show you. Keep loading those Pokemon. This won't take long. While we're at it, I might as well take your Pokemon, too. Go, Daniel. <laughs> Do it, Growlithe! <laughs> Don't let them win, dude. This is 
isn't over yet. I'll show you what happens when you mess with Team Galactic. Your turn to watch. We're pulling out. We'll just wait for the dark Pokemon to destroy the island, and then we'll take what we want. Glade should have that snag machine by now. Wait, Glade? What are you talking about? <laughs> Crap! If Glade is with Team Galactic, that means TJ is walking into a trap. I'm glad you're here. We need to turn the generator back on right away. Wait. Why? What is it? Gallade, we think Team Galactic is on the island. Have you seen them? I am Team Galactic. You can talk too? You're not as unique as you think, Gardevoir. The Chaos Clouds have changed us all. But, Glade, why Team Galactic? The answer is simple. Gary abandoned me, so I joined Team Galactic. It's not that simple. I asked Gary to leave me a trustworthy Pokemon to help run the island, and he chose you. Open your eyes, old man! I was at the top of my game! You think I want to spend the rest of my life here?! But Gary said- Gary Oak is dead! Now you two are the only loose ends to tie up! Enough! I don't care about your personal problems. I'm turning that generator back on, even if it means taking you down! Empty threat. Without your old team, you're no match. Now, hand over that snag machine! Level with me, TJ. Can we win? Not a chance. But you don't always have to beat your opponent to win the battle. I've got a plan but I need you guys to last as long against him as you can. Oh man, this is going to hurt, isn't it? Whatever you're planning, it won't work. Now let's fight! I can't believe you were once as strong as Gary O. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. You're one to talk. Joining Team Galactic is pretty low. Throw him out of here, Machop! <laughs> Hound hour, make him burn! You've got the advantage, Rick. <laughs> Let's see if Gallade remembers what it's like to face a shadow Pokemon. Seriously, owe me for this one, TJ. I was hoping for the chance to face you in battle, but I didn't think it would be this soon.
despite what others said about Gary. You always were the more ruthless one. Unlike you, he never would have let his Pokemon faint to win a fight. Too bad this time it wasn't enough. Aren't you forgetting something? Well done! I knew you could do it! I wasn't worried for a second! That's good, because I was about to piss myself. Don't change your undies just yet, boy. The generator's lost too much charge. It'll take hours to start it back up. There must be something we can do. Well, if we had some electric Pokémon, they could charge it up in no time. I have an electric Pokémon. Go, Molga! <laughs> I don't have an electric Pokémon. Here, TJ! Take this Joltik I've been raising! Oh, thanks. Go, Joltik! No! Glade failed. The boss is not going to be happy about this. I hope Glade likes it in that Pokeball, because he's going to be in there for a long time. I feel sorry for Glade. I know how upset I would be if I thought you abandoned me. I don't feel sorry for him. Even if Gary did abandon him, that's no excuse for Glade to put us all in danger like that. That's right. I never would have made him stay if he had only told me how much he hated it there. Here's your Pokemon back, Professor. Why don't you keep it? It's my way of thanking you. I know you'll take good care of it. Well, thanks, Professor. I could use an electric type. That was a good nap. There's a lot of commotion on the island. Did I miss something? Nah, nothing too exciting. Team Galactic tried to steal all the Pokemon and kill everyone. What? Gardevoir? Next episode, The Long Road to the Indigo Plateau.